Hello everyone, my name is Zena Lar. I am from Uray, Colorado. I circumnavigate the areas of California as well. And this is my room. And I like to make things. I suppose you could say I have a self-diagnosed condition called CCD. It's creative compulsive disorder where I have to make stuff all the time and with whatever I have around me. So if it's trash or junk or things that people would normally throw away, I try to find ways to refabricate them into something useful and beautiful. I like taking stuff in and doing the unexpected with it. This is a, an old parasol that it was at an antique store and it was falling apart. I decided that I was going to stick some lights in it because I needed a flashlight. Why have just a flashlight when you can have a lighted parasol with a hundred LEDs in it? So I put this in there. I love making robots. One of my favorite things to make is robots. I love learning about kinetics, and I love gathering any kind of information on how things move, and applying it to either the realms of animation, or robotics, or mechanics, or even puppetry. I made this tarantula for a, a TV show. Me and a team of three other people constructed these, these leg systems out of zip ties and pool noodles. had working mouth parts, uh, mandibles that could raise up and down, and jointed legs that were puppeted by eight rods. I would say that I am inspired by real life creatures when I make puppets. The project of moving on was one of my favorite projects. We were doing it for these people in Africa that they had seen hardship and trial. I decided to make a crane out of watercolor paper that I glued together and sewed and, and I made a base armature out of wire that I soldered together. I sewed all of its feathers on its arms with just tiny stitches. As I animated the crane moving its arms up, every feather would fall down naturally. And I watched a ton of videos on African gray cranes and how they moved, and I applied that to my stop motion process. I made this sea monster named Catalyst out of Chavant clay and wire. I basically wrapped the wire into an armature and added the clay to it. I was mostly inspired to make Catalyst by looking at creatures that were already existent. Anything from like a praying mantis to some lobsters to even prehistoric animals like trilobites for the, her back plates on her. I like integrating art into anything that I do, including what I wear. So every day I put on a different outfit and I like to make myself my own canvas. I wear goggles because you just never know when you're going to need goggles. It's good to have eye safety and I'm always ready with my eye safety. I don't even remember the first time I started making something, but I just think I've always made things. And it's been my passion in my heart to bring life to something inanimate.
just see every day as a new opportunity to bring art to people. And if I can do that by what I wear, then I'm going to do it in every way possible.